Today we are diving into the grim and plague-ridden depth of Warhammer 40k. We are assembling one of the most iconic models from the Space Marine Hero Series 3 set released in 2019. The fearsome and deceased champion of Norgal, Skabath. An expert in close combat, Skabath strides into battle like a herald of decay. His corrupted armor shrugs off enemy fire, and his sensor-laden weapon spreads Nurgle's foul blessings with every swing. This miniature embodies the dread and resilience of the Death Guard, and we are about to bring this champion of chaos to life on the tabletop. Hello and welcome my friends, my name is Max and today we are building one of the finest Nurgle champions, namely Skabath guy. As you already know, this is a Space Marine Hero Series 3, which it was released recently as part of a Kill Team starter box. And today we're gonna build it and see if it's uh, looking cool. We start, as always, with the torso, and we need to put the heads in between torso parts. As you can see, this is a push fit miniature, so technically they tell us that we can just push the bits out and then combine them together without any sort of uh, cleanup or whatever, or any glue. But we will go old style and uh, we will just glue everything together. Let's start with beats 3 and 4. This is beat number 3. And this is beat number 4. Beats 3 and 4 are cleaned up. They are supposed to be sitting together like this. There is a pin that should be attaching it to the body. But we aren't gonna fix this just now because we still are missing the head. And for the head we have two options, helmeted one number one and unhelmeted number two. We go with the helmeted one. This is bit number one, the helmeted head. What I really hate about this minis is that on the mold line, exactly on the mold line, there are some spikes which make it virtually impossible to remove the mold line efficiently. There will be leftovers of the mold line anyway, and these spikes are <laughs> not masking it whatsoever. I don't know why Games Workshop is doing that, but uh, yeah. So this is our head. We know that our head is supposed to be sitting here. So the fun bits about this head is that it has a lock on the back part of it, and this lock is supposed to be combined with the back side of the torso, like this. So when we glue this guy, we need to start with the back of the torso. And uh, before we glue anything, we need to make sure that our pins are not too large. I definitely gonna shorten this pin. And again, if you're supposed to glue anything, you want to glue stuff, you need to make the pins a bit shorter. Unfortunately, they seem to be too long all the time. And now we are prepared, more or less. So let's try to glue all these bits together. I will first go for the head. The head should be glued here. Let's see if we can find this position again. Yeah, this is how it should be. And then I'm gonna go for the rest of the torso. I'll spread some glue here and there, hoping that it will be enough. And let's see if we can combine the torso together. There we go. So as you can see, the torso sits fairly well, especially because we shortened the pins. I can guarantee you there would be a crack if we didn't. Anyways, this is our torso so far. Then we go to bit number nine. The bit number nine is actually a really wicked looking knife. Bit 9 is prepared. This knife looks really, really amazing. And it should be sitting somewhere somewhere here, I think. So this is, this is our knife. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue somewhere here, just to fix it in place. And this is our knife. Looking incredibly cool. Very, very, very nice. Okay, next they want us to put this lads on the base and puts Nordling 11 on the base too. Let's start with the Nordling. This is our funny looking Nordling 11. 
The snorkeling is amazing. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I love those guys. Okay, this is our snorkeling. And next we liberate the base from the sprue. Beat number 12. This is our base. The snorkeling is supposed to be sitting somewhere here, like this. I see a clear lock looking features over here. Kind of looking like there is a small hole for the norgling, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put some glue here in order to attach it firmly to the base. I'm gonna do the norgling first. Here we go. This is our norgling. The good part about the Death Guard miniatures is that you might just use as much glue as you want and it's gonna be fine anyway because these guys are so distorted, it can't really hurt them. And then we are supposed to attach the guy to the base too. Should be standing like this. I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna put some glue here, here, and over here. There are very distinct places on the base. You cannot really miss them. And this is our scabbath standing proudly on the base. Next, they want us to put additional beats here and there. Let's start with beat number five, which is gonna be used a bit later. This is beat number five. The beat number five is a little bit unusual because this is just a thing to support other things. There is a prominent lock over here and I'm just gonna glue it directly. Here we go. So you see, we basically put an additional pin on the miniature. Let's go for part number six. This is part six. This is a left arm. This is bit six. It is cleaned up. It's supposed to be sitting over here. I am going to shorten the pin slightly, very, very slightly, just in case. And then I am going to put some glue at this part. There we go. That should be enough. And I'm going to put this bit here. So, as you can see, <laughs> the pin broke off. And we will have to glue the whole thing. Probably puts too much pressure on the pin. It's also kind of important to make sure we have correct positioning. Because this 7 and 8 weapon is going to rely on the hand position. So let's go ahead and build them first before we put the backpack. Seven and eight. This is bit seven and this is bit eight. Bits seven and eight are cleaned up. They should be combined like this. Somewhat like this. I'm gonna put some glue around. I'm gonna try to put it a bit like this. Yeah, that looks good. And now let's see how they should be fitting here. After some trial and error I was able to find the correct positioning and now I just need to glue it carefully. There we go. So the trick here is to first of all not mess up this pin <laughs> Make sure that this shoulder is in the correct position. However, even if you do it this way, you still might have the wrong angle on the left hand. So ideally, you probably want to do the left hand after you have this bit in place because it will be fixed by the pin over here and another pin in this right shoulder. So you fix these two pins first and then you put this shoulder pad with the left arm and attach it over here. This is gonna be the ideal kind of scenario for this miniature. And we still need to put the backpack number 10. This is our backpack 10. The backpack is cleaned up and it should be sitting over here like this. I'm gonna shorten the pin slightly and then I'm gonna glue it. Couple of words before I go there. This backpack shows clearly what I was talking about uh, before. They put all these spikes directly on the mold line, which makes it very, very hard to remove the mold line. And I really hate it. They could probably do it slightly better because all these spikes are just making it impossible to get rid of the mold line in the first place. 
So uh, on some minis it is more prominent, on some it is a bit less, but Death Guard has a lot of this problem. And I understand why they do that, they want us to use the mini without removing the mold line, and that is why they try to hide the mold line with all the spikes, but for people who actually remove the mold line, it makes it very hard to do that. Anyways, let's shorten the pin and glue the backpack. I'm gonna put some glue here. And with a satisfying sound, it puts itself into place. Let's check if we did everything. We combined the torso, we put the wicked knife, a head, Norgling, everything is on the base. These beats have been assembled and the weapon is there too. And that is our Scabbath, my friends. The miniature itself is really, really, really nice. It looks amazing. It is very beautiful. This is the first Death Guard Space Marine that I have assembled and I really enjoyed it. I will give this mini 5 Norglings out of 5 for the fun of it. However, I will give it only 3 Norglings out of 5 for the easy to build part. Partly because this hand was a disaster, the left hand was really hard to put into place, and partly because the mold line is diabolically hard to remove on this mini. This mini, I would not say require partial assembly, because most of the bits here are surprisingly available for painting. But yet again, you know me, I don't do partial assemblies at all, so I might be a little bit biased. Took me slightly more than 25 minutes to build the mini and clean up everything. Just keep that in mind. And I think this is gonna be it for today. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think of Death Guard? What do you think of Space Marine Heroes Series 3? Do you like that they are now available as part of the kill team? I personally am not amused. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Max is out. Take care. Bye.